Corey Trepanier's Into the Arctic Video Journals. Brought to you in part by Eureka for Life Outdoors. And by Merrill. Let's get outside. We can finally see Henrietta Naismith Glacier back behind me. It's one of the destinations on this trip. From the air, it looked absolutely stunning as we flew over it, and I'm looking forward to seeing it up close. It's really thick, it's huge, and it just carves a swath through the landscape. But boy, it's been a challenge to get here. We've been hiking for hours already. Carl and I are just breaking our backs trying to get close. By the time we haul all our stuff there, it will certainly be worthwhile. It looks just stunning, and uh, can't wait to see it up close. Well, the winds. The winds sure have picked up. We're still making our way towards that glacier. It's, uh, it's a lot of work. Either that or I'm just out of shape. A dust twister over there yesterday, when we were trying to get out here, uh, or actually a couple days ago when we were trying to get out by snowmobile, we were looking way in the distance and we could see dust just coming right across the valley out into the lake. Uh, severe winds must have been here a couple days ago, so the snowmobile breaking down and us not making it was probably pretty good because we'd be trying to hike through that stuff right now. Well, we found the emergency cache that Parks Canada sets up. Well, in case of emergencies, this here is Henrietta Glacier's river that flows out and it's one of the most difficult crossings in the park. As park volunteers on this trip, we're gonna take a minute and have a look inside, make sure the contents are in place because unfortunately in the past, some, well, idiots have taken food from here when they didn't need it. And that puts other people's lives in jeopardy when they're truly in here uh, looking for something for an emergency. Yeah, we got uh, sleeping bags, extra food rations, more food, sleeping pads. Looks like we got tent down there, poles personal locator device to be used only in case of dire dire emergency this will bring in the, the military right in from uh, Trenton or somewhere if you pull the button on that guy yeah now although we don't want to use this it's incredible how <laughs> it almost feels like we need it because the weather's gone from well when we got here being 18 degrees and sunny and beautiful to now it's snowing sleet and rain talk about unpredictable one minute it's fine, the next minute it's snowing or rain. It's been home for the past 20 minutes or so. Not bad, it's doing the job, you know. Look at that snow back there. Incredible, this all just came down in the last 20 minutes, half hour. And what a contrast. Alright, we're ready to roll. Finally, finally, we'll have a close look at this glacier. 